Welcome my friends, so today we have a truly epic device to show you. This is a plotter made by Robotron factory in East Germany. You know, there is kind of a higher chance to meet a unicorn than find this kind of thing in its original box. And especially given that this particular is produced in 1990, so more than 32 years ago. Before we start, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have few tons of equipment to show you in the future. More likes means more food for my cat as well. So when you open the box, honestly it doesn't feel like a device from socialistic book. Because while electronics made in the Soviet Union often was kind of a byproduct of defense industry with all the crap of it, German Robotron made things look far more consumer. And this is not an exception. So here we have a power cord, a set of crayons, an oil tube, a couple of fuses and a dust cover. What is the most important, that documentation is written in a human language, which is very different from Soviets, who still made every manual in the same period, like one for a nuclear warhead. The plotter operates by reading a file written in HPGL language. But sometimes there is a need for manual operations. So on the front panel we have controls for this, to manually move the heads, to define the drawing area and to raise or lower the cranes as well. And this orange button locks or unlocks the paper. And this is being done in a pretty interesting way, but this you will see slightly later. And for now please don't push the red button. Well, that actually applies to any red button, you should know it. So on the back we have a power switch, a couple of fuse plugs and of course a separate bolt for unearthing. And for those who do not know I will say that, trust me, launching most of socialistic computer equipment without this attached earthing will give you kind of unbelievable memories. If you understand of course what I mean. There are also two interface connectors, one is V24 which is close to a REST 232 and IFSS which is a 20 mA current loop. And in fact it's easier to connect this plotter to even a very modern computer if it has a COM port, we just need to solder a proper cable. Ok, let's do some action. So first we need to put some paper. And here comes some magic, because as you place it and then press that orange button, it's been attached to the surface vectorstatically, so it will hold pretty well. So to make a drawing we are supposed to use the crayons, but I didn't want to fill them with ink for just one test run, so I'm using a ball pen that fits just perfectly. Then using the window button we define the area inside which the manipulator will actually move. You can run the plotter even without the computer connected, because in its firmware it has a set of test programs. And to activate them you need to press the hidden button, and then one of the manual controls to choose one. And the blinking of this red error indicator means that the test mode is now on and inactive. So one of the test programs is a sequence to draw concentrical triangles, and then there is another one that allows you to test fonts of two sizes, and then you can also draw some perfect circles. Well, this all is not super fast, but by watching it you can feel more and more yourself as a scientist from some research institution in Krasnoyarsk and NKC. And here is a good demonstration of what the window actually needs, because if the image doesn't fit into it, it will be automatically cropped, like it happens now with these triangles. When the drawing is finished, you just press the view button to move away the manipulator, and then this orange button again to release the paper, and here is our drawing. When you finish your work you can cover it all like this, so it will be protected away from the dust, because it's actually quite important to keep it clean with proper operation. So in my opinion, well of course it's very outdated device for its direct purpose, but as a technical artifact it's definitely very interesting. And uh, as minimal having such a thing in your collection means you will have a good conversation starter with your friends and as maximum, well, all nerd girls will be yours. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the new videos.